Calvin Harris is here. The legend. I, I'm a big fan of, of what you've uh, been doing, man. And the song Blame. Tell us, I'm going to play it here, but tell us a little bit about this new single. It comes out on Sunday. Uh, well, the singer is John Newman. He wrote the song, he wrote the lyrics. And here's, by the way, if you do, so here's John singing here. <laughs> To give you some context of him. So he's got an amazing voice and he's an amazing writer, which is like a golden combination. Like you mm. don't really get that a lot. You get a lot of amazing singers that can't really write. Uh, this guy does both. He approached me via Twitter DM. Oh, really? And he they, said, oh, come he said on. Yeah, he said, hey, I've got a tune. Um, That's great. And uh, would you like to work on it? I think it would like suit your style. So he sent over, it was like really rough. It was him singing and some chords. And then I just took that, took his vocal, built the music around it. We went back and forth on email for a while. I finally met him. He did a show out here in LA. I went to see him. He's such a nice guy oh, as it's well. Amazing. And it's it was an just like there was, it was a good vibe, and the song came out great. And so you're not the vocal on that song. No, but obviously, like the song of Summer Summer, you are the vocal on. Yeah. Do you like both sides of that? It yeah. It doesn't matter. To well, you. I like writing songs. Like I like writing lyrics, but sometimes I can be lazy with the lyrics, and I, I feel like I want to just make music instead. So, to, like, to have an amazing song come at you via Twitter DM is, like, the most <laughs> incredible. So I mean, you almost, like, second guess whether or not it's the person, even though it's yeah. DM. Like, yeah. I get DM sometimes from people, and I'm like, I don't think that's them. No, you need to check them out. You, you got to check right wow. for the blue tick. And you all don't need to write a song for somebody doing the music, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh, that's not that guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it's a good song, then, then I'm good with that still. It doesn't matter who it is. So, all right. So, some of the lyrics here are, can't you see it? I was manipulated. I had to let her through the door. Mm. All right, so whose lyrics are those? It's John Newman. It's those all written John's. by John. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it coincidental that those are lyrics in your song, considering some of the things that people have been talking about recently with you? Oh, I guess so. Oh, actually, I saw a story on your website that it was about Rita, but it definitely isn't. He wrote well, that song. Well, so was she was she was here, um, and she actually there's a song you guys wrote together, which obviously you know about. Yeah, yeah. And I I barely picked up on this. So here's the original lyric to great song, I Will Never Let You Down. You guys wrote that together? No, I wrote this. You wrote that. Yeah, it was uh -huh. my song. I told you. I told you. you told there, I said majority control because Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 100%. Right. Yes. Now, uh, <laughs> but, but wait, now here's. I was out sick this day, so I didn't get to see any of but, this. But here, I barely I picked up on this. Here's what she did when she was here. I might have let you down. <laughs> Wow. I mean, that's Yikes. That's telling to me. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. Well, what's your reaction to that revision? It's weird. Uh. <laughs> weird. Well, come on. You've been uh, she's no, been I outspoken, think, you have I not been. I think that's unnecessary. Really? Uh, like, yeah, for her to I mean to sing the song. I mean But it seems like she, she made it even more personal there to me. Yeah. Which is it's her prerogative. She's singing the song, it's her I mean it's her singing it. She's performing. Yeah, but it's it your song. It's she just changed song. it. It's my song. How I, I don't know how I'd feel about that. It's okay. I mean, obviously, she's trying to twist it so that she makes things, you know, more. I don't know. Yeah, like you said, more personal. That's one of. It's just one of those things. Well, I, w I wouldn't have even noticed it, <laughs> but it was pretty obvious, and it was in the wake of you know her not performing on the Teen yeah. Choice Awards. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What's no. a, what, 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 I mean, what do you think it's all about? Well, I have my theories. <laughs> What's your theory? I've, I've read your tweets. What's your theory? Okay, so my theory, well, first of all, I think she's very talented. and she's, She is incredibly talented. She's a talented. great singer. Listen, this girl, I don't know if people even realize it, but she's going to be around probably our lifetimes. Like, so you, she works insanely hard. You know, she makes some crazy decisions, but she works insanely well, hard. What are some of his decisions? Some decisions she's made are crazy, but she works incredibly hard. <laughs> and she, good, Calvin. She is going to be around for, you know, she's going to be a star forever, like, no matter what. So, so there's a thinking brain when it comes to her music and her career, but maybe not so much of a thinking brain for other things. Nah, she's just focused on her career, and mm -hmm. that is the most important thing, and I respect so, that so much. Well, which I do as well, and I don't want to harp on it. I just so looking in on the outside, it's you, you've just you've said things that like you know, um, make one look in and think that she did something to hurt you. That's that's what I see when I look. Right, in. right. That's your theory. Because she said this. I, might <laughs> I mean. I mean 
Oh, I love Coven. Like, Coven is the best Fort Knox ever. <laughs> She's no. funny. She's funny. <laughs> he wrote and produced the song. I mean, he's an incredible songwriter. I'm never going to disregard his talents. You know, he's incredible. Um, so he has to approve anything TV wise for right. anybody who doesn't get it. And obviously, he owns the rights to it and he didn't approve the Teen Choice Awards. And was so... that a surprise to you? No. It wasn't a no, surprise. No, no.